This video is to show basic Ethernet I.O. scannings through an NOE module on a uh, M340. The standard Ethernet on an M340 does not have the service available for doing I.O. scanning. So if we go to the NOE module, we go to the Ethernet that's associated with it. Double click on Ethernet. Right now we see I.O. scanning is no. We have to set that to yes. That opens up the I.O. scanning tab. Notice that our module is at the IP address of 011 here. So when we come to IO scanning, we see that the master address is 011 for the scanning. And what we're going to do is set up a transaction. And we simply go to the IP address where we're looking at. So if we're going to a drive that's on 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
and coming through the gateway, that would be the Madbus address of the device going to the gateway. And if that was the case, we would obviously need to match it on this one as well if we were talking to a Madbus serial device through a gateway. If Modbus I.O. scanning like this isn't perfect for every application, it does leave a socket wide open at all times uh, with Ethernet connections, and some third-party devices don't necessarily like that. So if, if the, this is a very easy way of programming communications between a device, if that doesn't work for whatever reason, you're getting odd timeouts, then you have to go back to the old read var, write var way of writing communications. In this case here, I'm actually going to validate this, and then I'm going to build it. Make sure I don't have any errors. And we have zero errors.